When you listen to a piece of music, what is it that catches your attention? Do you hear a motive? Do you hear an instrument? Do you hear a drum pattern? Do you hear an energy that comes out of this piece? Some of these things leave such a deep impression on that moving experience. They create what you might call a earworm. And that keeps loading in your head. It's like a loop that never seems to forget itself in the piece. And when that happens, there's a way in which you attend to the work because of that earworm, because of that loop, or because of that motive. And when you're drawn into it, you want to ask yourself, is this all that's there? Can I get more out of this experience? Look at the emotional interpretation. What does that mean for you, that you were moved by this piece of music or this song? This is where music theory becomes very helpful. When you've listened to this piece of music for the first time, you're moved. But when you have a second and a third and subsequent reading, all of these little pieces that you put together, that you tried to grab as part of your earworm, all start to come together. And when they come together, there is a way in which a structure emerges in your head. A structure is a way in which sounds are organized. There is a way in which certain aspects of the sound seem to figure in your head. They keep a certain emotional memory, an oral memory of it. And structure helps us to make sense of our moved experience. When you're listening for structure, you're listening for a theme because the theme is usually the sharpest way in which you can get a concise appreciation of the piece. A theme is a concatenation of many things. It can be a melodic idea, it can be a harmonic shape, a vertical a chord structure, and that theme depends on all of these different factors. If it's in the right register, there are so many other colors that come with it. If it's loud, if it's soft, if it slowly grows into you, if there is a texture of sound, a wall of sound that starts slow and builds until it reaches the point where you feel emotions rise from within you, then you realize that there are so many ways in which you can describe a theme. When you think of a song, Think of the verse-chorus structure. They inevitably form part and parcel of another group of like-minded, like-spirited pieces of music or songs that we can broadly refer to as genre. If you think of genre, you could think of Baroque chamber music. You could think of heavy metal. You could think of hip-hop. You could think of rock and roll. You could think of rhythm and blues. And all of these genres help us to understand how we collect our pieces in mental boxes, oral boxes, that give us an idea that when we're listening to something, we have a sense of familiarity. and We know where to position our moving experience into one of these little boxes, so to speak. But again, don't forget, composers have been known to play with us and play across genres. You may have an experience of a symphony playing but it may be playing a collection and arrangement of hip-hop tunes. What would motivate the composer to write a work like that? If we've accepted genre, uh, if we've accepted an understanding of a collection of pieces within that frame of reference, clearly you and I have been taken apart. But it isn't just about playing it for its own sake. There is a way in which a composer had possibly an intrinsic motivation or an extrinsic motivation to write the way it was and have it presented in the way that it was. When you start to put these pieces together as if they were pieces in a jigsaw puzzle, you get closer and closer to a deeper reading of music and a deeper understanding of why it is written the way it is and how we are meant to listen to it. Not only just the musical component parts in the way in which it comes together, but the human endeavor in the process, the social cultural contexts by which these pieces come together, and the deeper reading 
engages your imagination and you are now transported into a different world belonging to you, of your imagination, of your readership. Even if you've listened to it for the fifth time or the hundredth time, there is still more that you can get out of reading this piece.